Today, it is hard to imagine our lives without trains and railways. The invention of the steam locomotive has been a major turning point in the history of humanity. The first railway lines appeared in England at the beginning of the 19th century during the Industrial Revolution. In that moment, there was a huge need for transportation of goods and materials from one city to another. As a result, from that point on, many people were hired to build new railway tracks and operate them all over the world. Over time, travel conditions began to improve and trains became faster and safer. The first rudimentary form of railway was the Diolkos, a paved trackway built by ancient Greeks where today is the Corinth Canal. This about 7 km long trackway was operated from around 600 BC until the middle of the 1st century AD. Wheeled vehicles, pulled by men and animals, ran in grooves in limestone, which provided the track element, preventing the wagons from leaving the intended route. The Diolkos saved ships sailing from the Ionian Sea to the Aegean Sea, a dangerous sea journey round the Peloponnese. The oldest operational railway is the Reiszug, a funicular railway at the Hohen Salzburg fortress in Austria, documented for the first time in 1515. The line originally used wooden rails and a hem haulage rope and was operated by human or animal power through a treadwheel. Around the year 1550 began the use of wagonways with wooden rails and horse-drawn traffic to facilitate transportation of ore tubs to and from mines. Minecarts became popular in Europe and miners called the wagons hunde, dogs, from the noise they made on the tracks. In 1726 was built the Cozy Arch, the world's first large masonry railway bridge in the world, for the Tenfield Wagonway in northern England. It is also the oldest surviving single-arch railway bridge in the world. In the late 1760s, plates of cast iron began to be fixed to the upper surface of wooden rails, which increased their durability and load-bearing ability, marking the beginning of the era of metal rails. In 1793 was built in England the Fritchley Tunnel, considered the first railway tunnel in the world. It remained in use until 1933, when the railway closed and was sealed up in 1977. In 1784, William Murdoch, an employee of the famous Scottish inventor James Watt, built a steam carriage. The first full-scale working railway steam locomotive was built in the United Kingdom in 1804 by Richard Trevitic, a neighbor of William Murdoch. On the 21st of February 1804, the world's first steam-powered railway journey took place when Trevitic's steam locomotive hauled the train along the tramway in South Wales. Trevitic's locomotive never got beyond the experimental stage because it was too heavy for the cast iron track in use at that time. The first commercially successful steam locomotive was Matthew Murray's rack locomotive Salamanca, built in 1812. This was followed in 1813 by the locomotive Puffing Billy, the first successful locomotive running by adhesion only and the oldest locomotive still in existence, now on display in the Science Museum in London. In the following years, the design of the locomotives continued to improve, although it was used both horsepower and steam power on different runs. In 1829, George Stevenson built the locomotive rocket, which won the Rainhill Trials, also setting a speed record of 47 km per hour. In 1830 was opened the Liverpool and Manchester Railway, the first public railway which used only steam locomotives, 
all the time without animal power. It marked the beginning of the first steam passenger service. The line had the first timetable for passengers and proper stations with ticketing offices and platforms and went on to prove the viability of rail transport. In 1837, Robert Davidson built the first known electric locomotive powered by batteries. However, the limited power from batteries prevented its general use and it was destroyed by railway workers who saw it as a threat to their job security. The world's first urban underground railway was the Metropolitan Railway in London, which began operations on the 10th of January 1863. It was worked by steam trains and despite the creation of numerous vents, was unhealthy and uncomfortable for passengers and operating staff. In the late 1860s began to appear the first steel rails replacing the iron rails. Steel rails were lasting several times longer than the iron ones and made heavier locomotives possible. Before dining cars in passenger trains were common, a rail passenger's option for meal service in transit was to eat at one of the road houses often located near the railroad's water stops. The first dining car was introduced in England in 1879 and by the mid-1880s dedicated dining cars were a normal part of long-distance trains. Werner von Siemens constructed in 1881 in Lichterfelde near Berlin the first electric tram line supplied by running rails. In 1891 the track was equipped with an overhead wire and the line was extended. In 1891 the first practical AC electric locomotive was designed by Charles Brown using three-phase AC for long-distance power transmission. In 1912 was operated the first diesel locomotive in Switzerland and during the 1920s they were improved beginning to be used more and more often in several countries. In 1938 was set the world speed record for a steam locomotive by the Mallard which reached a speed of 203 km per hour. However, in the first 20 years after the war the steam locomotives were replaced on the main routes in Europe and North America by diesel and electric engines. The first electrified high-speed rail, Shinkansen, was introduced in 1964 between Tokyo and Osaka in Japan. Since then, high-speed rail transport, functioning at speeds up and above 300 km per hour, has been built in more developed countries. In 1984 was opened the first commercial maglev system between the Birmingham International Airport and the nearby Birmingham International Railway Station, but was closed after only 11 years because of the problems with the electronic systems. In 2007 was set the speed world record for a conventional wheeled passenger train by the Francis TGV of 575 km per hour. A new record was set in 2015 when Japan's experimental maglev train L0 series achieved a top speed of 603 km per hour on a magnetic levitation track. In September 2018, the world's first commercial hydrogen-powered passenger train entered service in Lower Saxony, Germany. The trains developed by Alstom are using a hydrogen fuel cell which emits no carbon dioxide. 